And now, your first alert five weather. Well, the moon looks pretty cool in Colorado Springs this morning. Nice crescent. It's 50 degrees. Winds are only at six miles per hour. We got 61% humidity, so slightly cool to start the day, but generally really calm weather to start your weekend. In Pueblo, things are looking calm at the Chili Fest this morning. Uh, we are looking forward to another beautiful day for festivities. It's 52 degrees to wake up. So just a light jacket's all you need here early this morning. Uh, but really, we are looking forward to another t-shirt weather day. Across the state of Colorado, we've got 30s in much of our mountain zones. It's 36 in Vail this morning, 49 in Denver, and 50 here in the Springs, 52 in Pueblo. So cool to start. We're really feeling this fall-like weather in our overnight temperatures. As we're losing about one to three minutes of sunlight each day as we get closer to winter, we are starting to see those overnights cool a bit more. But this afternoon, not really feeling a whole lot like fall. We're about five degrees above average for this time of year today. And we'll have a clear sky, lots of sunshine. So as I go through this future cast, might not even look like it's going forward in time besides the temperatures climbing. There's not going to be a single cloud in the sky today. Maybe just a stray wispy cirrus cloud is all you'll see. Our temperatures will climb to the 70s by noon. This is when the air show is starting. It's going to be a good day for flying weather in Colorado Springs. Lots of other activities across the state today. Harvest Festival, Chile and Frijoles Festival, and we do also have the Oktoberfest in the springs, and it's going to be beautiful weather for that, 70s and 80s throughout the daytime, and just really comfortable outside. 70s expected for the mountains, 80s for the plains today. Zooming in on the Pikes Peak region, I've got 77 for Manitou Springs and Falcon, 82 for Fort Carson and Fountain. And along the Arkansas River, 84, Canyon City, Pueblo West, 83, Pueblo Proper, 85. By tonight, we're going to drop to the 30s, 40s, a couple 50s. So cool in the overnight hours again. Actually, Sunday is going to be cooler overall, but you won't notice a huge difference. Just a very weak cold front's moving into the region. It's not going to do a whole lot of change for us. And a whole lot of change, that's not happening next week. We've got pleasant weather ahead with high pressure in place all week long. So we're kind of in the doldrums. Not a whole lot of change day by day. So we are looking forward to the warmest days being today and next Wednesday. Coolest day being tomorrow. So tomorrow for the last day of Oktoberfest, rising from the 60s in the morning, late morning that is, to the 70s during the afternoon. Kind of like perfect room temperature, a little warm with the sunshine. In Pueblo, looking forward to mostly 80s on your seven day forecast between 84 and 86. Not a whole lot of change except for Sunday with that slight cool down. Makes it a little bit more comfortable in front of the chili roasters on the pavement downtown Pueblo. It's going to be a beautiful day to head to the festival tomorrow. Today will be great as well. For Canyon City Harvest Fest is back this weekend starting today and the last day will be tomorrow and will be in the 70s. Next week looking like the 80s for us. I see a hint of a disturbance moving in Friday. I have added a chance of showers there. Still a whole lot of details to work out with that forecast, but generally for Woodland Park, between 70 and 72, except for Sunday and Friday. You know, such great weather though for all yeah. of the festivals happening this weekend, but I also heard that you were a judge for some salsa tasting yes. at the Frijoles Festival too. I had, I lost count, but I had at least 80 samples of green chili, red chili and salsa. <laughs> my stomach did okay though. It was really, really good and it just kept my tummy nice and warm. <laughs> did you even pick a favorite <laughs> after all of that, trying all of that? I yes. wouldn't be able to. We would judge them as we went and I just, I don't even remember which one was the highest, but it was like a blind taste test and they'll, they announced the winners yesterday. Hey, even this <laughs> early in the morning, it sounds great. Yeah. All right, thank you, Alex.